Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrychoucottage.net. So today we're going to talk about the new everyday iron-on mosaic from Cricut. So they have this in everyday, they have it in holographic, metallic, and there are a variety of shapes. So what is it? So this is the square version that I'm holding up here. And this iron-on is actually small little squares with gaps in between the squares. Now they have different shapes. So this sheet is an example of the circles. So you can see the circles and how there's gaps in between each one. There's also stars and tons of different other shapes that you can get as well. Now, how do you use this? It's a little bit different than the iron-on or heat transfer vinyl products you might be used to. So let's take a look first at Cricut Design Space when we're doing our design and how we use the mosaic iron-on with that. Just head to Cricut Design Space and pick some image or upload an SVG file and then size it to fit your shirt or whatever else you're going to put it on and then click make it. So what you're going to want to do here is mirror your image. So this is still iron on and you still mirror the image. Then click continue. You can cut this material with either your micro or your explore series. And if you're using your Explore series, you'll need to set your dial to custom. And then click Browse on Materials for either machine. Type Mosaic in the search bar. And pick the Everyday Iron-On Mosaic or Holographic Iron-On Mosaic, depending on which you're using. And then you just cut it like normal. So now that we have our design, our machine's ready to go. Let's cut the Mosaic Iron-On and I think we'll use the black squares for a onesie. So first I opened up the package of iron-on and the first thing you'll notice is these protective sheets in between each layer. So we're just gonna pull the black out. And this is still the good side. So the shiny side is still the good side. And then the matte side is gonna be the side that you wanna put up on your mat. And then we already mirrored our cut writing Cricut Design Space. And now we can just press this down on our mat, head to the Cricut machine, and cut our design. Now we have our project cut and it's time to weed. So weeding this is probably the most different from anything else you've used. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove it from our mat. And then we're just gonna use a piece of pair of scissors to cut out just the portion where our design is. Now this iron-on actually has two carrier sheets. So you're going to want to pick up the first carrier sheet. So if you're just to pick up the iron on itself, it would come off just one square at a time and that would take forever to weed. So we are going to separate the two carrier sheets. Just use your fingernails and peel back the top one. When you peel back the top one, your cut design will stay on the second carrier sheet. Then you just want to continue and weed away things like the centers of these eyes. And if you can get to it, you can actually pick up the carrier sheet on these as well. Or you can just pick up the little individual pieces. And now we're ready to put some mosaic iron on on a onesie. So now we're heating up the Cricut Easy Press to the appropriate time and temperature. And we're just going to press the wrinkles out of this onesie. And then we can locate the iron on on the shirt. 
And I've just heated this to the recommended time and temperature on the Cricut Heat Guide. And then we're just going to press. Just want to use firm pressure while we're pressing. And then we'll flip it over and press once more before peeling back. Right, and then we can peel this while it's warm. So you might want to let it cool a little bit because it's really hot. Now the two liners will come into play while we're removing it as well. So we're going to remove this first liner. And the second liner, I can actually see it, it's coming up with it. This may not always happen. So you may have to peel twice depending on the iron on. And it was coming up in places and not in others. So let's peel from this direction. Alright, both liners came up at once. So both liners do not come off at once. So you can maybe see that both liners are here so you can see that right now. So the liners might come off as two separate pieces and that's okay. You could just peel the first and then carefully peel the second because it will be the shape of your design. So just carefully find the edge of the second and peel it back. And now our onesie is complete. So now we've used that mosaic iron-on from Cricut to make a fun baby onesie. So if you like this look of the individual pieces with your iron-on, you don't have to cut that and weed all that. Just look for a mosaic iron-on in a variety of shapes and it'll get you the look you want in a fraction of the time. Just remember the few tips and tricks we shared and that double liner that might throw you for a loop the first time you use it. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you love this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions about the mosaic iron-on or anything we've shown today, feel free to ask those in the comment section below. You might also want to head over to our YouTube channel and hit subscribe because we have crafty videos all the time and a Cricut video once a week, so you don't want to miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next week with another great Cricut video. Thanks, y'all. Bye-bye.